Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video. In this video, we will see how to enable a manager app in Tomcat server. Okay, so first I have started the Tomcat server. So the Tomcat is up and running now. So when you click on manager app, so you ask him for the username and password. And when you try to enter multiple usernames and passwords, it won't accept you, it won't allow you to log in. Uh, as because it, the the login mode, I mean the uh, uh, manager role is dis disabled in Tomcat. So just to enable that, it's a client says that you will be getting this uh, error. So to enable this, what we need to do is first uh, we need to go to the Tomcat directory, uh, Tomcat directory. So this is the Tomcat home directory. In this Tomcat home directory, you will be having the folder called config. If you open the config folder. You will be having the Tomcat users.xml. So you have a user.xml, right? So if you go to the user.xml, uh, open this user.xml, then uh, user.xml. In this user.xml, just to enable the user login, you need to enable this line. You need to enable this line. So here, if you see that I have uh, enabling the user with role manager GUI. So you, uh, so I'm giving the password. It is test address one two three four. So by default, it will be a must be changed. So I have changed the password to test address one two three four. Okay. So after making the changes, after making the changes, just uh, stop your server. So I have downloaded the Tomcat from the Google and I have unzipped it. Uh, I have unzipped it and uh, now uh, and uh, I changing this value. So if you are installing uh, the Tomcat, if you are using Tomcat of uh, XAM, which is downloaded from the XAM by default, then we'll show you how to do that. Okay. So currently we are doing it, uh, the Tomcat which is downloaded as a zip file from the uh, 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 Google. Okay, so let's start in the server again. The server is starting, uh, server is starting. Yeah. Uh, it's loading the folders, root for root uh, project and uh, this uh, manager. Now the server is completely up. Let's refresh the page now. Yeah, let's refresh the page. Yes, now uh, try the manager app. Now I have given admin as a username and password as a test in the rate 1234. So click on sign in. Now we got the uh, manager page. So from here, uh, you, you can uh, uh, choose a file, var file, and you can deploy the uh, you can deploy the uh, 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 projects using var file, and uh, you can give the directory that part of your uh, var, and you can deploy click deploy, or you can upload and you can deploy the file. So uh, if without this, so if, if you if you want to do it out of your uh, Tomcat server, and definitely you need access to this uh, server or you should have an WinFTP or file uh, FSTP uh, to copy your var file and just to restart your service uh, definitely you need a mission access to restart and stop and start the services so uh, this is a uh, option to be uh, enable one of the option to which we can use and uh, uh, we can start redeploy the application from here redeploy stop the application redeploy and deploy so we have multiple options here so uh, this is the one option I have showed how to uh, uh, edit this user. So if you want, if you have downloaded the Tomcat from the exam, then in the exam you will be directly having the config, uh, which is which is uh, in the config folder you will have in Tomcat user.xml. So if you click on this file, it will uh, it will open a uh, it will open the configuration file uh, like this, same as we see we have seen in the uh, notepad test list and uh, that will be updated here. Okay, so we need to update that value and uh, we need to uh, change the uh, path. We need to change the path, uh, sorry, password, and we need to restart the stop and restart the Tomcat. Uh, then it will apply the changes. So even every change, every change what you do in your configuration or some heap memories or uh, any any configuration, we should not forget to restart the Tomcat server. So unless until you won't restart the server, it won't take effect. Okay. Thanks for listening. Distance. Please subscribe.